I, I, it was really? always about like the girls with me uh, growing up and being a kid. Like the first time I kissed a girl, I think I was probably six in the basement of this shitty apartment yeah. building. And then she started kissing oh, this other kid named Keith right in front of me. I was yeah. like, you fucking little bitch. I didn't say that. <laughs> I was like, you, you poopy head. Or something. No, I remember in third grade, there was a girl named Debbie Fuller in our class, and we all talked about one. I fucked one the shit out of her. her. Yeah, sure. And, in third grade, <laughs> and the, one, one time I was in a class, and we had this little loft that you could climb in in third grade in my classroom, and John Ryan was in there, this fat kid, and he had his little dick out and he was jerking it off and saying i want to fuck debbie and everyone was just sitting wow around. we were all just sitting around and one of us had a, his dick out and he was jacking off third grade jesus christ my, my daughter's in kindergarten where did he get that well i don't know i don't know where i was went. way behind yeah I, I know i don't have any of those stories from when i was younger i remember i loved kelly howells when i was in second or third grade i had such a crush on her but i had shit my pants a lot yeah. School. <laughs> you yeah. shit your pants a you lot. You were a pants shitter. It would, it would always smell like rust. <laughs> <laughs> and I was standing in line one time, and Kelly Howell was right behind me, and she's like, "Did you go poops in your pants?" And it was my first attempt at sarcasm. I'm like, "Yeah, sure." <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work when it's true. No, though. Of course it doesn't. No. It was a confirmation <laughs> that I had indeed flat. I had flat. It looked like a fucking a shit nail head. <laughs> Like, I had flattened it by sitting on it. It was cool. There's nothing worse than fucking cold, rusty-smelling uh, shit in your underpants. Oh, that is horrid. Uh, Yuck. And she knew you shit yourself. How could she not have? Mm. As I was standing there stiff-legging, trying to get out, smelling like shit. I shit my pants all the time in school because I only wanted to shit at home. I remember I shit my pants in school once, and it was like I just basically coated the inside of my underwear with diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> and I went to the bathroom. And while I'm in the stall, all, Michael Boyvin, the toughest kid in school, and, uh -oh. and his gang came into the bathroom. <laughs> Come on, Woim. <laughs> exactly. And I was standing on the toilet with my shit underwear in my hands, just praying that he wouldn't kick the door oh, open and find man. me there. Oh, you, would you have been mad? And I, I had no choice. I, I, I ate it. What else could I do? <laughs> what else could I do? I wish Michael Boyvin would have found that fucking <laughs> oh, underwear. In your head. He might not be mm -hmm. here. Might I be wouldn't be right really here. Kill no. You. My, uh, no, I'd be with him right now. I'd be married to him. <laughs> my best shit story happened when I was 31 years old. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I've told it a couple times. Mm -hmm. uh, Rick, our old producer for this radio show, uh, I was down in Florida and... And I was meeting his, uh, what would be his uh, future wife for the first time. And it was a big deal. And we uh, went out and we had a little lunch, whatever. And I had an upset stomach all uh, all day. And it was when, like, boxer shorts were really in. So mm -hmm. you're a little looser, right? And I had yeah. shorts on and I had, like, sandals on. And I was saying uh, goodbye on their stoop. And I mm -hmm. thought it could sneak out a, just a little bubble fart. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a true story, man. A little nugget. Oh fell out, God. rolled down my leg, oh my bounced God. off my sandal, and just rolled it oh rolled to the front. Of take, them. take that with you, <laughs> like down to their feet. Oh, pretty much. It, it couldn't have been more perfect. You know how it, it just is. rolled and landed right. That was their my feet. last milk dud. <laughs> right. Get all mad. That's how they say goodbye in some countries. That's actually <laughs> yeah. how you that's say like, goodbye. That's a cookie in Haiti. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I, I, I. That's how I met his future wife, and then I. I said that's how I, they fell in love. I don't feel good, and then I just shit my brains for the next like wow. six to eight hours or something like that i ended up not leaving i had to like lay down back in their place i ended up having like just food poisoning or something Never was going shit on myself Never oh it was the, shit myself. Just, it was just one little nugget and i was already in my 30s oh my god <laughs> when i was on Conan, writing on conan i was a writer there and i was laying awake in bed one morning like not getting up yet and i was sleeping in just underwear yeah you know, no shirt for some reason i usually sleep in shirt and underwear and uh, I just lay in there and about, you know, going, <laughs> planning to fart <laughs> and just and just shit. I just shit in my underwear. And for some reason, the fact that I was in bed, mostly naked, it just really upset me. <laughs> and I was really thing, bummed. Huh? And then my phone rang and it was my friend Dino, who was my one of my uh, guys I wrote with on Conan. And I told him what happened. I said, that this is, I just feel so, I don't want to get out of bed now. Like, I don't know, I just don't want to move. This was the grossest thing ever happened to deal with it. And then I got out of bed, I dealt, you know, I cleaned up. And I went to work, and I opened the door, and the writer's assistant, 
this woman says, hey, I heard you shit your underwear this morning. I'm like, what the fuck? And every <laughs> single person everybody. came up to me, Conan, said, hey, what's that? How, how did that go, shitting in your underwear? <laughs> and I, <laughs> and I, go to, I go to Dino, and I said, what the fuck? And he goes, I assume you wanted me to tell everybody. Why wouldn't, I t why wouldn't <laughs> yeah, you? Yeah, right? which, you wouldn't have told you, me. Didn't you tell me so I could spread the news before you got to work? <laughs> Amazing. I, I like pissed the bed stories when I was a kid. Mm. I think the last time though wasn't, and it wasn't one of those, you know, if you're just a kid, you piss the bed, because I never did that. It was kind of when you're in your early teens almost, and, and you dream that you're taking a piss. Yes. Right. So you're laying in bed, and you're dreaming that you're da just taking this fucking wicked piss. <laughs> wicked piss. Wicked yeah. piss. And you wake up and go like, uh oh, uh oh, oh boy. Pissed all over the <laughs> fucking bed. Do you know I did that with that dream when Louie and I were in Bonnaroo a few years, 2003, in uh, the, yeah. the Tennessee. I woke up in my hotel bed and I was fucking my sheets wet. Wow. I pissed my bed just wow. a couple years ago. Uh, wet, wet dreams are fucking great. When, um, I, when I was like, in, you just come just, in just, your just, fucking shoot a load in your sleep. Just to stay with piss for oh, a second. <laughs> when I was in like first grade, I remember I just, I was in my bedroom just being confused and. I just, I pissed on my bed, like standing there. <laughs> I just, that is confusing. I pissed on my bed and I remember thinking, I don't, I don't know why I'm doing this. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah, weird. Your territory. I didn't piss my, I just pissed on it. And then I didn't let anybody in my room for a while. I just said, please don't go in there. And yeah. it just got stiff with piss and ugh, it was really depressing. Get rid of that bed. So what about coming in the, your uh, bed? Yeah, yeah, like, uh, <laughs> when you have a, a wet dream and those, yeah. those are just for the, um, very youthful. Right. Cause I have, I don't think I've had one of those in fucking mm. decades, but uh, I do remember you you come like in a second because mm -hmm. in your dream I guess you've been so worked up that in real life you got a rod and you're humping your bed or whatever right. the fuck you're doing, and then when this dream girl the girl in in the dream uh, has her clothes off and you just like touch your dream dick to her dream yeah, pussy, yeah. dream cum comes out all over the fucking place, <laughs> yes. and then in real life, you're just shooting your load all yes. over. You know, a lot yes. of times... But it feel, in your dream, it's mm. like, it feels amazing. But a lot yeah. of times, in the, you're not rubbing in your dream, by the way. No, you it's just... You like, have just so much, like, sperm built up. It's that's just, amazing, uh, that complete mental fucking why, thing, then, and but, there's no physical pumping. But that's somebody. why you don't have many wet dreams if you have an active, you know, sex life. Yeah. You gotta really... Yeah, dry yourself off. I've never had one. I, That's why because you're no, just I, jacking. But dreams also, are it's amazing. What, it's what to, like it, there's a cycle to this because when I was in uh, eighth grade, seventh grade, what is tw twelve, thirteen? Mm -hmm. That all I needed was twelve year old, thirteen year old Lauren Tossy in her gym clothes, <laughs> lift, <laughs> lifting up her sh shirt and and pulling her shorts down slightly. Yeah, that was the picture I had. And I'd come immediately. Like that's oh, that to me that was the pinnacle of sex. Mm, right. Thank you. I didn't even. Yeah. No, here's the thing. And Welcome then I grew Lawrence up and I Oscar. started getting hand jobs. I started fucking women, getting blown, you know, uh, coming on asses and faces and tits. <laughs> and now I'm 40 and I'm back to that. That's all I can really get. That's off all of. you can really yeah. think about. It's a teenage about girl and... showing me four inches of her belly. Yeah. Let's go I to Florida. Over myself. Hap what happens there? No. And a grown <laughs> woman blowing me. I'm like, can you leave? <laughs> This is boring. <laughs> Let's get a Greg in Florida. Greg. Hey, what's up? Fantastic. Hey. Well, I got a good shit story. It's actually oh. twofold. It's the same day. Twofold. Okay. Yeah, it's a twofold. Well, it was about 12 years ago. I used to drive a truck for a bread company, and I, I just like how it got old fashioned for a second. What's the twofold. Uh, the next one would yeah. be thrice, a uh, thrice a shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually have more shit stories, but this is the best one okay. I can say. But anyway, I, I ate something that morning that obviously didn't agree with me. Mm. And, um, you know, I started feeling it, like getting the sweats and, you know, getting the fucking goose pimples on your arm. And so I pulled over the truck, went out in the woods, and didn't have anything to wipe with, so I took a dinner roll with me. And of course, took my shit, wiped with the dinner roll, and as I'm walking back, I saw some squirrels sitting there eating the damn Wiped his ass with a dinner roll. A dinner roll. <laughs> that's you know, fucking that's a, great. You're a true gentleman. <laughs> that is dinner a, roll. That is about, 30, 
30 minutes later, it, it hit me again. So They're eating over. dirt cookies in Haiti. <laughs> He's wiping his ass with a dinner roll. <laughs> America. So I'll tell you what, it was, it was silky, better than Bob Kelly's damn uh, Oh, flag. shit, listen, that could be, yeah. you know, wiping your ass with a dinner roll. That is the ultimate. <laughs> yeah. Fucking, that means that we've got two years left in this country. <laughs> That's the end of Rome. That's yeah, the end yeah. of the French when aristocracy. You're wiping your ass with the dinner roll. Wiping your ass with a He's very roll. resourceful, though. That's good thinking. Sure Sometimes is. you're proud of yourself, and it's like, well, I figured this out. How do you have oh, rolls and not a napkin, though? Where were you? <laughs> and you know. drove a bread truck. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was on a bread. Yeah, I was out in the middle of nowhere. Mm. Wait, so you opened the big? He opened the big back of the truck and took Those out one doors. dinner roll. <laughs> one yeah. lucky dinner roll and never going to make it to the dinner table. <laughs> yeah, and then the, the squirrels were kind of shaking their heads as they were eating it, so I don't know. They, they, no, they, all right. They're fine. Oh, then, My, uh, that part I don't believe. Oh, that, dinner roll, that dinner roll could have been on the table with a family going, <laughs> yeah. thank you, Lord, for these side <laughs> gifts we are about to receive. How come there are only 11 of these? Yeah, wait a minute. Right. You ordered the dozen shitter's have... dozen. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy. Not you right. go for the baker's dozen gag. <laughs> shitter's, shitter's dozen's <laughs> funnier. <laughs> Fucking baker's dozen like an old lady I'm trying to spit out. <laughs> That's a baker's, is it? <laughs> <laughs> shitter's dozen. All right, we're yes, take a, a baker's dozen is 13, a shitter's dozen is 11. 11. My, my dog, let me just cap it by saying that my dog ate a full shit diaper yesterday. <laughs> oh it's, there's nothing. That what is the fuck is with dogs? The worst with dogs? moment in a parent's life. It's ate worse than anything that's happened. She eats, well, she doesn't finish. Ugh. That's the thing. If she gobbled it up and, ate, and cleanly ate it, I wouldn't care. Ugh. But I come home and there's a, the remnants of a full shit diaper all over the floor. Oh and she's got a, literally a shit eating grin and <laughs> shit in her fucking uh, whiskers. That was like sushi for your dog. <laughs> yeah. 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 That, that was very enjoyable. Ugh. All right. More shit stories after the break. Oh, and, uh, good, good thing. <laughs>